that tank right on my mat today. So I'm just going to sit right beside him. And we'll start together and seated. And if you want to have a mudra with your hands, maybe index and thumb together, or maybe the thumb in the palm with the fingers closed over the thumb. So if you have your hands, your thumbs in and the fists over, and you can set that in your lap, kind of so it's when you're seated, so it's kind of in line with your root chakra, it's really grounding. Or you can have your yana mudra, thumb and index together, whatever feels right for your energy today, wherever you find yourself. And as we settle into the breath and settle into our space together, we'd be bringing the mantra home. Knowing that the mantra om behind it is a very sacred vibration and energy that's really supportive for cultivating peace, awareness, whatever it might be that we want to call into our space. We can let that om vibrate within our being. And give rise to self-awareness. So maybe as the exhale leaves the body, just saying the mantra to yourself or even out loud. dropping into the mantra itself. Just be almost becoming the mantra. Maybe you organically drop into your ujjayi breathing, which is the mouth closed we're inhaling and exhaling out the nose, but with a slight restriction in the throat, it sounds maybe like an ocean breath or like a Darth Vader audible breath. Almost like a snore, I guess you could say. allowing ourselves to be here now. If your eyes aren't closed already, I invite you to close the eyes. And perhaps you stay with your hands in your lap, in your mudra, or with the eyes closed. Maybe bring the arms out like a T and flip the palms to the sky. And with your eyes closed, notice where your hands are in space. With your next exhale of OM, perhaps stepping back and being a witness and seeing yourself on your mat with your arms extended. Inhale, draw the arms together above the head, maybe the palms meet. Then exhale, draw them down to your chest. Inhale, arms come out to the side. Exhale, together above the head, pause. Inhale. Exhale, draw the hands down. Inhale, arms come to the side. Exhale, hands meet above the head. Pause and inhale. 
Exhale, hands come in front of the heart and pause at the bottom, hands in front of the heart, breathe in. Exhale, sigh. Breathe in. With the eyes still closed, if it feels good, open up the arms to the side again, but this time exhale to twist to the right. The left hand coming to the knee, the right hand can come to the right hip. In that eyes closed gaze at the over the shoulder, just feeling yourself in the space today. With our eyes closed, we can draw our energy in. Breathe in. Now exhale, lift the hand off the knee, off the hip, bring them up to the side as you bring the heart back to the middle, arms out like a T, shoulders stacked over the hips. Breathe in. Exhale, twist to the left, the right hand on top of that right knee, or left knee, and the left hand to that left hip. Our eyes close, gaze over the left shoulder. Breathe in. Exhale to let go of the hand on the knee and the hip. Arms come out like a T. The heart shines forward. Eyes are closed if it still feels comfortable. And then we'll draw the hands above the head together. And then exhale, drop the hands to the knees. Right hand on right knee, left hand on left knee. Again, eyes closed if it's comfortable. And then lean forward so the heart kind of comes maybe in front of the legs and then just make some circles, the heart to the right, and then lean back as if the heart were kind of circling over that low back, that sacrum. Just make some circles clockwise, kind of warming up the back. You can really accentuate with the shoulders, move the shoulders a lot or not at all, dropping the heart, and then maybe going anti-clockwise, whatever feels good. And then next time you bring that part towards the front, let's pause and then draw the shoulders back over the hips. And now let's roll our shoulders forward and back again. Eyes closed, if it feels good. Just drawing this experience in, noticing points of contact, the feet, the ankles, the legs, the sits bones. And then roll the shoulders in the other direction, going back. And then draw some stillness, set those shoulders still. Breathe in. Let's connect with our breath again after this movement. Maybe notice how the energy feels in the body. Notice how the breath enters and exits the body. Now hands in lap or hands in prayer. We'll chant three ohms together. We'll connect with our breath, a few more breaths in and out. Now let's exhale, breathe in, exhale for own. Breathe in, breathe in, exhale. Today's practice falls on the first of December. So perhaps you can use 
this time today to kind of establish an intention for the month, this last month of the year. We had a bright full moon yesterday to close November and usher in December. Time to harvest. So maybe give yourself a couple moments and see how you want to close out the year. Maybe begin the month. See how that feels in your subtle body, in your mental, emotional sheath. And as we move through the physical practice today, let it fill you with exactly what you need to physically be with yourself in this intention for the year, for the rest of the year. Let's breathe in. And exhale, let it be so. You now opening the eyes, maybe tilting that chin to the chest, and then tilting that head back, eyes to the sky, we blinking the eyes, open and close as we glance up towards the sky. And then exhale, drawing the chin straight, so eyes forward, maybe the corners of the mouth lift to the sky. And thank yourself for being here this morning. And then let's come into tabletop. <clears throat> Maybe wrist underneath the shoulders, or you can bring your fists to the ground. And then kind of in the same idea of what we did earlier when we made those circles with the heart, let's just sway the hip to the side and glance over the right shoulder and then sway it to the left. Just some subtle, gentle movements in the hips back and forth, maybe you just really exaggerate and you bring the head to the opposite shoulder and let that spine kind of make an S and rock and sway. And then one more time to each side and then come to the middle and then let's dip the head back till the pelvis coming into our cow. And now exhale, round the spine. Let's pause with our chin to the chest and let that spine be nice and round like we're kind of lying over a rainbow. And then dip the belly, lift the chest, and let's pause here as if that rainbow were kind of on our back, ends of it up to the sky. And then exhale, lie over that rainbow, big curve in the back, and now bring the spine to neutral. And then walk the hands in front, bring the palms down, dip the heart down, the heart melting pose, anahatasana. Exhale, let the breath go, and then inhale, really fill the body with energy, maybe with stillness, whatever you need that you want to just kind of bring into the space for the month. To balance what you need, or to maybe fill where you're headed. And now let's glance up at the hands just a little bit. Walk the hands towards the knees just enough so you can ground into the left and send the right leg out to the side so that right foot is flat on the ground and the leg is long. And then tilt that heart down. So maybe you'll notice an opening in the inside of that right leg. Let's breathe in. Exhale, let the breath go. And now glance up with the hands again. Drag them forward or towards the knees just a little bit. Now bring that right hand underneath the left. So your right leg is to the right. Your right arm is to the left. We're threading the needle. And again, just kind of opening up the back and then that spine getting a little bit of lengthening in the back, getting some expansion. Breathe in. Exhale, let the breath go. Inhale, 
Now exhale, lifting the heart, lifting the head, drag the left hand towards the knee, the right arm comes through, we're gonna rise up so the shoulders are over the knees, the right leg to the side. Yeah. Inhale, draw the arms out to the side, kind of like we did at the beginning, put the palms to the sky. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Exhale, draw the hands above the head. Pause at the top. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Mm -hmm. Inhale, arms come out to the side. Pause with arms out to the side and drop that right hand onto that right leg with the left to sky. Inhale. Now exhale, let's bring that left hand towards the ground. It can hover over the ground or it can touch the ground or a block. And the right arm to sky. And really lengthen through the side of that right leg. So press the pinky edge side of the right foot to the floor. And the heart can be open a lot or a little. You can even place the right hand on the hip. Sometimes that helps me kind of physically bring those hips forward to remind them to go forward and send the shoulder back. So whatever supports you in opening up the front of the chest. Bring that right arm to sky if it's not there already. Then exhale, shoulders come out like a T, arms out like a T. Yep, exhale, hands come in the hips. Bring that right knee in. So knees are side by side. And then just bring the left leg out to the side. Draw the arms up to the sky. Nice, ladies. And exhale, fold it forward. We're coming to that heart melting pose with the leg out. Drop the heart to the floor. The forearms and elbows and palms can come down or you can keep the forearms lifted, whatever feels good for your space today. And just drop the heart, drop the mind into the space where you're at. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, look up at the hands. Can we bring the hands towards the knees a little bit, just enough so you can gently bring the left hand underneath the right arm so the left arm points out to the right, left leg to the left, and then drop into the earth again with the heart. That right arm, wherever it feels comfortable on that upper back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Our out breath brings that right arm forward, that left arm through, and then we rise up, stacking shoulders over the hips. And then we sigh to put some freedom as we let our wings go side to side. Yeah, breathe in. Exhale, hands come above the head. Maybe they need in prayer. Pause at the top for an in breath. Exhale, draw it, hands to the chest. Really nice, breathe in. We'll exhale to extend the arms out. And then when you're ready, drop that left hand down the left leg and the right arm to sky. Meeting yourself right where you are. And then when you're ready, exhale to bring the right hand towards the earth, the left arm, maybe to the sky or to that hip. You can send the hips forward, so maybe they stack over the knee. Really nice job, guys. Maybe thank yourself for being here. Let the breath go. And then inhale, we'll bring the arms out to the side again. Exhale to settle into the space. And the inhale draws the corners of the mouth to the sky and that left knee in to meet the right. And then we sweep the hands to the sky. Mm -hmm. Exhale, bring the hands forward, bring the elbows down, the forearms down, and the legs go back onto the belly, the hips touch the ground. And maybe find your variation of space. The elbows can be underneath the shoulders to draw the heart up a little more and the low back is a little more extended, or the elbows can be forward. So maybe the low chest, that sternum, that base of the rib cage is on the ground and you lift the heart. Breathe in. And then exhale to glance over that right shoulder towards the right foot. Breathe in. 
Exhale to bring the head through the middle over the, over the left shoulder, glancing towards our left foot. And then exhale, bring the gaze forward, lower down onto the chest. So the whole rib cage is on the ground. The arms reach forward. The gaze is just past the top of the mat. Now let's lift the, the tops of the feet and the knees off the floor. Maybe we need to place a blanket on our hips. If not, just stay here on your belly. And then glance up towards the hands. And let's bring our arms out like a Y, lowering down the feet. Maybe lift that upper chest a little bit. And then lower down all the way to the ground. Palms come to the ground, maybe the cheek to the floor. Breathe in. And then exhale, lifting the chest, lifting the heart, and maybe the hands hover above the ground. And now maybe the tops of the feet and the knees come off the ground. Now stay here in stillness, or maybe bring the elbows towards the hips. And then extend the arms out like a Y. So from a Y to kind of a W, the elbows towards the hips. You can lower the legs whenever you need. Just move with your breath, a Y to a W. Inhale for Y, exhale for W. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, exhale, elbows towards those hip bones. Now lower down the leg, lower down the arms, come to the side and the face of that cheek, breathe in. And now exhale, let's press it up and back to downward facing dog or your dolphin pose. And that spine that we just compressed a little, let it kind of ring out and lengthen. Sending the sits bones nice and high, drawing the breath into the chest all the way down to the belly. Breathe in, breathe out, and inhale. And then exhale, let the breath go all the way out of the body, every last breath. And now glance up at the hands and let's step our feet forward. You can walk little baby steps towards the hands or all the way forward with those hands <clears throat> or with those feet towards the hands. And we'll meet in a forward fold. Then bend the knees and rise up to stand. Letting the breath go. And then draw the hands to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, sigh. Nice, breathe in. And sweep the arms up towards the heavens. Exhale, fold it forward. And now grab opposite elbows and then heel toe the feet nice and wide. So they're maybe mat distance apart. You can bring the left hand to that right hip and then sweep the right hand to sky. That left hand can also be underneath the heart center towards the floor. Opening up the chest. Nice, bend the knees, exhale. The right hand can come to the left hip and the left hand to sky or the right hand underneath the heart on the floor or a block. Breathe in. And now exhale, bring the hands back to the floor. Bring the heels in so the toes point out. Drop those hips down, malasana. And if that doesn't feel good on the knees or the hips, then find that sumo squat where the feet are just a little bit wider than the hips. Drop down. And we'll breathe in and out. Mm -hmm. We close the eye. And then exhale, let's fold it forward. So folding forward if you're in sumo, lifting the hips up if you're in malasana. Breathe in. Now exhale, grab the left foot. Let's step the right foot back. Pivot the heel down to face the long edge. And now walk the hands towards the long edge of the mat. So the left foot's forward. The right foot faces the long edge, but our hands are on the ground. And kind of out towards the corner, the right corner of that mat. And press that left foot into the ground. And just find some stillness, bringing some awareness to that outer left hip. The left side of the hamstring, breathe in. And now exhale, walk the hands towards the foot as you pivot onto the ball of the back foot, lower down that knee. Now drop the left knee out to the side for a variation of lizard. The left hand compress that knee over and then twist the heart towards the knee. 
the right hand grounds. You can even lift the left arm to sky, drop the knee out, maybe bring the left hand to the right hip, bringing it behind. And then we'll breathe in and out here. Inside. If the left hand's not on that knee already, bring the left hand to the knee and then bring the knee to the middle, bring the left hand down, step that left knee back to meet the right and we'll set up for our cobra pose. So knees are, are on the earth, hands are underneath the shoulders and let's lower down the chin and the chest, the sits bones to the sky and then drop the belly, lift the heart. Maybe hover the hands, inhale. And exhale, press down and back, meeting in child's pose. Let the breath go. Inhale. Exhale, float the hips forward as we in dolphin or downward facing dog. Exhale, looking hips up, hands, forearms, ground, breathe in. Exhale. Now inhale, stepping right foot forward and the left foot comes down and the foot points towards that short edge. So it's kind of like our warrior two feet. And we're gonna walk the hands towards the long edge of the mat and then getting them in the right nice spot so we can kind of feel a little awareness in that right hamstring. Hands can be towards that corner of the mat, maybe towards the middle. But just a little variation for the body here. Breathing in and out. Now exhale, walk the hands towards the foot as you pivot onto the ball of that left foot, lower down the left knee, drop the right knee out to the side, or variation of lizard pose, Uton Priesta Asana. Left hand grounds, the right hand can be on the knee, or maybe the right hand comes behind the back and towards that left hip. So we open up the heart, open up that right hip and the leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, bring the foot down, bring the knee in, bring the hand down, and then ground the left knee and sweep the right knee back so our knees meet. Hands are underneath the shoulders. And now exhale, lower down. Chest and chin, the sits bones reach to the sky. And then exhale, lower down the thighs, the stomach, the low chest, hover the hands. And let's pause here in our baby cobra for a couple breaths. Inhale. Now let's exhale, press back to the child's pose for two breaths. Really lengthening that spine. Inhale. And then we'll exhale, roll back up onto our stomachs, coming back into baby cobra. So the stomach's down, hips down, low ribs. Let the hands hover and lift. Elbows reach back towards the hips. And the heart hovers. Inhale. Now exhale, lower down the forearms and the palms. Maybe rest the head, the forehead on the back of the hands, and then bend the knees. So the feet come towards the sky. Mm -hmm. Nice, guys. And inhale to lift the heart. Now reach the arms forward like we did earlier in a Y. And then lift the thighs off the ground. So like the pubic bone and the, chin, and the hips press into the floor. And now sweep the hands back. So the fingertips reach for the heels. Maybe we lift the heart. Maybe we find the feet in the hands. Maybe we just point the fingers towards the feet. Bow pose, Dhanurasana. Inhale. Good, exhale, lower down the thighs, lower down the chest and the chin. Let's pause on the side of the cheek. Inhale. And then exhale, lifting the heart, lifting the chest, fingertips reach for the heels and then reach the feet to the sky. Maybe we lift the thighs, lift the heart even more. Maybe we find the ankles in the hands and press the feet into the hands. In the heart. Maybe we just reach in that direction, and that's absolutely fine. Inhale. 
Exhale, lower down the knees, lower down the hands. Now let's roll over onto our backs. When we get to our backs, find a happy baby. Letting the breath go and reaching those knees towards the armpit. And we rock side to side, maybe on that low back. Gets a little massage. Yeah. Now bring the soles of the feet together. Let the feet come to the ground, finding a butterfly. And maybe we find our strap. And we'll rest in butterfly with our strap handy. Maybe close the eyes. Letting the breath come and go. One more breath in. Now exhale, bring the knees together, roll over to one side, and then we'll press up to a seated position. Sits bones, ground, feet come nice and long in front. And then our strap that we have, let's loop it around the balls of the feet. And so we have a strap in each hand. Uh -huh. Flex the feet towards the face. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And now walk the hands down the strap. And as we do, that heart reaches towards the feet. And then we can't reach forward anymore. Let the back round, but pull on the strap with the hands. So you notice maybe the arms are active. And maybe we are a little closer to the legs or to the feet than without the strap. Inhale. Now exhale. Gently bring the shoulders over the hips. Keep hold of that strap. With the strap, maybe nice and long, the hands towards more towards the thighs. Bend the knees just a little bit. Keep that, that, that strap nice and strong and straight. Rock back. Walk the heels towards the glutes because we're going to bring, with the tension on the strap, bring the legs long and kind of find the V shape with the strap and pull those. Pulling that strap, the legs straight. Yeah, heart towards the knees, towards the feet. Draw the belly to the back. You can bend the knees if that feels good. But let's be here for like five breaths. Strap is here to support us. Try to relax those shoulders down. Sometimes I punch my shoulders into my ears when I do this. So try to relax the shoulders. Now press into the strap with the ball of the right foot. And then gently bring the left foot out of the strap with control and float it down to the ground. This might be really challenging. And then let that left foot hover over the ground. The right foot presses into the strap. Inhale. Exhale. Try to relax the face. All right, now draw the left foot up towards the strap. We're going to switch places. So the left foot creeps into the strap. That loop, the right foot comes out and float the right foot down towards the ground. Our side body is active, our low core is active. Hover the right heel over the ground. Left foot is pressing into the strap. Nice work. And now let's bring the right foot back to meet the left foot in the strap. Press the balls of the feet into the strap. And then we'll bend our knees and slowly lower the knees down as the shoulders kind of come back over the hips. Feet come down. Exhale, let the legs be long. 
shoulders over the hips. Maybe the back feels longer than it has before. And now pull on the strap, walk the hands towards the feet. Forward fold. Pulling on that strap, drawing that chest towards the knees, towards the feet, rounding chin to chest. We'll exhale to bring those shoulders over the hips. Keep the legs in the strap, or the feet in the strap. Bend the knees. We're going to float onto our back. You can keep the heels grounded or they can be lifted, but keep your hands on the strap. And you can kind of slide down that strap as you extend the legs long and lower the back. Yeah. So kind of making our way onto the ground and bring the feet to the sky in that strap. The strap kind of pulls them. Uh-huh. So now we're on our backs, feet in the strap. Let go of that left foot, let it float to the ground, the right, all the foot in the strap. And then let's drop the leg out to the right. Letting that hip open, drop open. You can keep that left foot grounded, sometimes that feels better on the low back, if the left foot is on the earth, that right leg out, maybe close the eyes. Maybe you, with the strap, bring that right foot more towards the shoulder, towards the upper part of the mat. Noticing an opening in a different area of the leg. Press the heel through or pull on the strap on the ball of the foot. Now gently bend that knee just a little bit so you can guide it back to the middle, foot to the sky. Now bring the left foot into the strap, swap places with the right foot, float that right foot down to the ground. And then we'll drop the left leg out to the side. The right foot can come to the ground. That feels better on the low back. And allow that breath to slow the heart to still. Maybe you draw that foot kind of up towards the top of the mat more, or maybe down towards the bottom of the mat more, or out to the side. On an exhale, bring that leg back to the middle. Gently release the strap from the foot and then float the leg to the ground. And then with both feet on the floor, let's hug our knees into our chest. They can be close together or they can be wide. And lift the upper back off the ground, drawing the chin or the nose towards the knees. Try to draw the stomach towards the back and the back towards the ground. Nice. And lower the upper back to the ground, lower the feet to the ground. <clears throat> and then if you want to find a reclined butterfly, or if you want to send your legs up to the wall, you know, legs to the sky, or go ahead and land in Shavasana. And feel the energy settle exactly where it needs to be. And 
Maybe lift up a leg, reach through the heel or point the toe and stretch out the leg, let it be really long. Maybe shimmying the shoulders so the shoulder blades separate, creating some expansion in the back. And an out breath allows you to drop into surrender. You can let go of the need to control the breath by just being here. The mind starts to wander, maybe just visualize the rise and fall of the stomach. And stay in Shavasana. Letting go of any awareness of breath or body or movement. Or if you'd like, you can roll over to your side and come to a seated position. Come into your nine shoulder, your alternate nostril breathing. And perhaps bringing the mantra all into the count. So if you're inhaling for six, count the only. We'll practice the Nadi Shodana.
welcome to stay seated in meditation for as long as you'd like. We're resting in Shavasana.